all right? But um, this one right here, it'll keep your workflow smooth um, and all of your files safe. I wholeheartedly believe in this card because it's like the top of its class and the top of its grade when it comes to like the, the video, the different, um, you know, video speed cards. And it goes really fast when it comes time to transfer to your computer or, you know, taking pictures and them transferring from the from your camera to the SD card is very seamless and very quick. Right. So, yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of people will blame their camera um, for their footage, you know, skipping or looking soft or not really going right. But most of the time, it's not your camera, it's your SD card. All right. And your SD card usually is not fast enough to do what you're trying to do. This is when I when I always consider upgrading or getting something better. Is what I usually say, like, you know, if your SD card or your camera isn't doing exactly what you want it to do, then it makes sense to, if, if it's limiting your capabilities as a creator, then it always makes sense to upgrade. But until it limits your capabilities, it doesn't really make sense to upgrade. But SD card, the one thing I will say, makes sense to upgrade before it starts to limit your capabilities because when it limits your capabilities, it usually happens with a corruption and you don't want to get corrupted, all right?